Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this is vlog 22 and this is another kind of impromptu video but I just wanted to talk about um, something that I guess I kind of just like thought about today like just thinking about like my walk with God and everything and what this channel is like even about and um I'm still working so y'all might see me do a lot of eyeball movement but um I feel like I've been having a lot of spiritual attacks and or I've been meeting a lot of spiritual attacks and they're not blatant but I do take notice and I'm in constant awareness of my surroundings um for example recently I noticed like two old situationships checking up on me um and they both happened in one day like I closed one door a long time ago I closed another door a long time ago and on the same day they both hit me up and like I said these are people that I've shut the door on like take care like one of those like like take care you know like this is not going to work out like not leaving any room for any other interpretation like take care have a nice life and also um now my daughter is like in this phase where she knows everything like every time i tell her something like bella we need to like go grocery shopping i know i know i'm like okay like that's not even information to know until i told you but anything i'm telling her she says that she knows and at this point <laughs> she's even told me twice mom i know everything and i'm like you're seven you know nothing about the world and sometimes i do tell her I, sometimes i do tell her like bear you don't know everything you might know a lot you know um but you don't know everything but in her seven-year-old world she does so what i'm realizing is that it's a matter of perspective because when i was 15 even 21 i thought i knew everything too um i thought i knew what was best for my life and i just knew everything that i needed to know but it's it's literally just what you know in that time frame in your world like at that point and um as a matter of fact, the things that I thought I knew when I was younger, I do not even believe now. So, but this has made me reflect on the trajectory of my course because between those situationships popping up twice in one day and then my daughter being a know-it-all out of like nowhere, I think about things spiritually, um, not just physically. Like, okay, yes, physically, I should change my number to fully close doors or even block them. And yes, physically, my daughter is like learning about herself, like physically as in like this tangible world. But spiritually, I always reflect on where my walk with God is when I encounter certain obstacles. Um, and thinking on those things, yes, I've been slacking and reading my word. Um, no, I have not been waking up early to spend time with God when I start my day. Um, since my since my daughter has switched schools, um, we walk to school now instead of drive. So now we don't do our morning prayers on the way on the way to us driving to school. Um, but the first couple of days of school of her new school, we prayed walking to school. But then a few of the kids in our neighborhood, you know, they they asked, hey, Miss Nala, can we walk? Bella to school or can she walk with us to school and I was like yes of course that's so great because now she could be more social and she can get to know the kids in the neighborhood a little bit better and um, I know all those kids anyway but now that they're all going to go to school together you know now Bella and them can get to know each other better and now I can make it to my morning meetings on time but guess what that canceled out our morning prayer times um, and I feel like because I am not doing my part and starting my morning with reading God's word, that means that the word isn't getting into my spirit. I'm not getting fed. So I'm less patient, less gentle, less loving, less kind, less all of the fruits of the spirit because 
Um, you know, I'm not worried about that. I've been worried about the works of this faith walk. Like the like the faith without works is dead. So I felt like, well, God, I'm close. You know, like we're close, right? And I'm working on being less lazy about putting effort into my blogs, doing so many works, like getting back into baking, writing down goals lists to achieve them, like taking better care of my house, doing all the works and the actions to achieve an abundant life, but yet missing my morning prayers. Or I'm listening to YouTube sermons while I'm working, you know, not reading my Bible, because I'm thinking that's enough to feed my spirit because I'm trying to multitask as a single mom. And in doing all of these things, I feel myself getting unfocused and I greatly dislike that. Sometimes I get stressed out because I just really want to be successful. And I don't know if that's because I feel like I wasted all of my 20s on dumb relationships and people pleasing and just wallowing in childhood trauma, like from high school up until earlier this year. So literally from 18 to 29, like 11 years, you know, I felt like I wasted giving my heart to others, um, trying to get my parents to love and approve of me, you know, that I'm finally becoming stronger in who God called me to be. It's like, I knew who I was called to be, but I just didn't see the worth in it until now. And I feel like I've been trying so hard for other people to see me, like really see me for years and years and they don't and they won't. And now to make up for lost time, um, I feel myself stressing out because I have to do the vlog. I have to get my online store. I got to get my nonprofit. I, all the while improving on my personal habits, like being clean, being a better cook, working out so I can be a better mother and a future wife, doing this whole Esther purification process all in faith all while working a nine to five because I've had to have the faith to achieve the abundant life and promised land that God has promised me. But now I'm trying to cram all the works to match that faith. And it's like, God, how do I balance all of this? But what really woke me up was the two old situationships hitting me up in one day. Cause I'm like, I haven't heard from y'all in so long. Like, and for y'all to hit me up, both of them, in one day, I'm like, the devil is a liar. Like, something's in the air. Like, something is in the air. So, it just made me feel like, why do y'all feel comfortable enough to text me, you know, after I said, take care. You know what I mean? And, but it made me, I'm not saying it's them, but it just made me look at my spirit, man. Like, how tempted do, do I feel? Like, how tempted do you feel? Because I know when I'm in my word and in my prayers, I feel strong like a warrior and the difference will feel very distinct. Like they're on that side and I'm on this side. Like, no, you could never. Like, no, I could never. But it actually felt wrong this time. It felt like I felt like my spiritual guard was down since they were so comfortable in the conversation that they were giving. And I felt very Pharisee, like, no, I can't talk to them because I'm not having sex because the Bible says that's wrong because I'm a Christian and y'all are the dirty ones for the streets. Like, you guys are not my Boaz, you know what I mean? Like, even though I want some sex, but I'm not gonna give in because I know God is looking at me, but guess what? God knew my heart. He knew my body would not give into these men. He knew that I would not physically do it because, you know, I have changed my life over. So, no, I'm going to be celibate. But in my heart, God knows I was imagining things that are not biblical. And that still is wrong. Whether I did it in the physical or I did it in my mind, it's a sin, one in the same. I'm still going to hell because I'm still... It's in my mind and it's in my heart. So the Bible says to guard your heart above all things. And I felt very far from God. So in this intentional walk, it's like, when I, what am I even doing all of this for if I'm going to be far from God? It's like, I want to be seen as perfect to God so bad, maybe from my childhood trauma, but... I never will be perfect because once I tried to perfect one part of my life, 
the other side starts falling. Like I felt like I had to get my faith in order, which I did over the summer. Like I really turned my life around. I really like strengthened my faith in the Lord, but my works wasn't, I'm just praying, God changed my life, God changed my life. And it didn't change until I applied for the job or, you know, I started this vlog, like, you know what I mean? So like my faith was really strong and then I'm like, okay, well now I got to do the work to match that faith. And now that I'm doing the work, it's like, I'm not even like the faith side is like, it's like, I still have my faith in God, but it's just like that depth is just falling. And I felt like I had to get my faith in order. So I'm like, okay, well, I can't live an abundant life if I don't do the work. So I'm working on the works like y'all seen the vlogs, budgeting, making the effort to look better, cleaning. And now the faith walk is like, I wouldn't say slow, but it's not deeper than like back then I had plans that, oh, you know, once I get to the abundant life, my faith would be, you know, deep as deep as the ocean. And now I feel like not even God, where are you? Because I know God is there, but it's like, well, where am I? Like, how did I get here? Like, why y'all texting me? Why is she acting like that? Why am I patient? Why impatient? Why, like, why am I irritated? And it's like, if I was in the word, I would have the fruits of the spirit because I'm meditating on that word, but I haven't been doing that. And it's like, I see the difference. Like, I see it it's, and it's crazy. And so I'm just realizing all of these things, like I haven't done a Bible study, I think, I, you know, like posted on here, like since the summer. And it's just so many things I'm realizing is just, it has my attention and I need to backtrack as to why I'm even doing this. Like, why would I be talking to y'all if I'm not going anywhere to show y'all of where we should be going? If I'm not even going there, I'm just trying to push this abundant life like oh no y'all seen me from vlog one to vlog 30 and it's just like that's not what it's about that's like a, a plus but you know what I mean like but this but I mean even a video like this like it's, it just needs to be like transparent like this is real <laughs> but this is the walk that is part of that because it's I'll never be perfect even though I'm aiming for perfection I mean, I'm, I'm always, and my aim is to just always be better than I was yesterday. And now that like, I'm realizing, like, especially when they text, like y'all, when they text me, I was like, all right, I don't even like y'all. Like, I know for a fact when I closed the door the last time it was, no, I'm, I'm waiting for my soulmate. Like y'all cannot, there is, I don't mean to be vulgar, but besides Okay, I'm gonna say the D word, but besides sex, y'all cannot feel anything in me. So I, you know, I came to that point where I can, you know, peacefully shut that door. Like y'all are not my bow ass. Y'all can't. Like, say if I couldn't have sex with my, my husband, like, can we still have a connection, like right here? You know what I mean? So it's just like I shut these doors because it's like it's not fruitful. That's a, that's the perfect word. Thank you, Jesus. It's not fruitful. Like, it's not. Like nothing can grow out of that. So like when they're texting me, it's like, okay, the devil, like you're, he's sending his demons to like work and like other people. And it's like, I don't, why are you doing that? Like that, that's how I knew I was like, something's in the air. And then it just, when that happens, I just reflect like, well, do I feel strong, like spiritually? And I like tell myself like, well, I've been listening to sermons every day. I've been listening to gospel playlists when I wash dishes. Yeah, but have you been reading your Bible though? Yeah, but the things that are in the Bible, have you been applying them to your life to be, you know, strong? And it's like YouTube videos and gospel music, they're not going to do that. They can encourage you, they can uplift you, but actually feed you only the word of God and prayer to communing with God, with his word and actually speaking to him is going to get you where you need to go. And I have been slacking on that because I've been so busy trying to do the work that I feel like I've missed out on that I have not been doing to make up for that. And it's like, I feel myself losing sight of like, you know, this whole intentional walk. So I just, I just feel the need to backtrack.
because even with a full face of lashes and jewelry, you know, I want my heart filled. I want that void filled and no vlogs, no abundant life can do that. An abundant life should be the result of your walk with God. And how can you get that if you're not walking with the one who blesses us with all of those things? And, you know, maybe that's why I had to come, you know, to that conclusion, because that's part of this walk that I'm sharing with you guys. And I hope that y'all can relate because I just want to be as real as possible. Like, I never want to be like, yes, I like looking pretty and lashes and nice clothes. And oh, yeah, God is blessing me. At the end of the day, like, this is me. Like, you see all this junk in my room, plain Jane. Like, I'm chill for real. Like, I and I just always want to be that. But it's just like, OK. I do those things, lashes and nice dress and jewelry to like, it's, it's more so like a walk of faith. Like, yeah, I know that I am going to be elevated. So let me walk in that elevation in faith. But sometimes it's cool to get back to like your roots. You feel me? So I just want to share with y'all. I, I hope y'all can, even if y'all don't feel me, like somebody will, I don't know, but I'm just being obedient and that's, <laughs> that's what it's all about. So until next time, I'll see y'all later. So take care because I got to go back to work. Bye.